Welcome to the next video in our WordPress series. I'm Mick and I'm walking you through how to make this exact website click by click. In the last video, we went over how to make static pages, but static pages are only half of the story. The other component to a successful site is dynamic content, and that's what we're going to go through now. One of the easiest ways to include dynamic content in a site is with a blog. A blog lets you easily add new information to your website without having to go in and actually change any of the nuts and bolts of your site. The first step is to assign a page as the blog. So in your dashboard, we'll go to the Pages tab and click Add New. We'll call it Blog and click Publish. Next, we'll go to the Settings section and click Reading. Here at the top, you'll see you can assign a page as the Posts page. We'll pick Blog. Click Save Changes. Let's go to our site and see what happens. Now you'll notice up here in the menu, we have a new page called Blog that's just appeared. Let's click on it and see what it looks like. Perfect. Now WordPress gives us a dummy post to start us off. It says, hello world, and has some default text in there. So far so good. But let's add our own posts. In the dashboard, we'll go to the post section. This is where you see all the posts you've made. Here's that first placeholder post. We don't really need it, so we'll just throw it in the trash. Now let's add a new post. Right up here on the left, click Add New. I'll paste in a post I've already written to show how it works, and let's give it a title. I also want to add a picture right here, so we'll click Add Media to upload a file. I'm going to change the image from full size to medium and click Insert into Post. And using the formatting toolbar, we can get it right where we want it. There we go. If I check my website, let's see if it's there. Yep, perfect. Here's the first post and it looks great. Now let's add another post. For this one, I'm going to embed a YouTube video. So I'll click Add New like we did before. I've got some text already written. This post is about a song that inspired a recent shoot. Now to embed the YouTube video, all I have to do is grab the link to the video and paste it to the post, wherever I'd like the video to appear. WordPress is great because it's designed to just take your link from YouTube and put it into your post automatically. You don't need to know anything special to do it. I'll click Publish and let's see what it looks like. Perfect. So our posts are looking great, but there's something here that we still want to adjust, the sidebar. This section on the right is something that you can change. So we'll go to the Appearance section, then click on Widgets. Widgets are little tools built into WordPress that make it really easy to add things to your pages. You'll notice there are a ton of options. All you have to do is drag in the ones you want to activate them on your site. I think I like a recent post widget, so I'll drag that into my primary widget area. A search bar might be nice too, so I'll drag that over too, and maybe one or two more. Let's go over to my website and see if the changes took place. Awesome. There we go. Looks great. As you add to your website and your needs change, you can always go back to that widget page and add or delete the widgets that appear on your site. Now, in the next video, we're going to go over how to add a photo gallery to your website.